G'day, my name is Kyle. I'm with uh, Guitar Sensors Work Release Program. And I would like to make it perfectly clear right off the bat that uh, I'm a reformed man. Uh, if I see a man now that I have a problem with, I don't just go and decide it's a good idea to stab him. Uh, a lot of blokes are just left better unstabbed. So with that said, uh, uh, the only thing I like more these days than getting absolutely pissed drunk at the bar is uh, playing this guitar. Alright, uh, first things first, I want to make sure we're in tune here. Sounds about right. Alright, let's go. So what do we have here but a replica of the 1979 Eddie Van Halen Bumblebee? Uh, you notice immediately the beautiful uh, yellow and black attack. If, if you touch it, if you get a little too close, you're likely to get stung. But that's just the name of the game. And if you listen... Yeah, you hear that? That's the sound of the fucking swarm coming for you, mate. <coughs> so in keeping things professional, uh, I suppose I should tell you about the specs. Uh, we have, right off the bat, we noticed the beautiful yellow and black attack paint job. Uh, a rip over neck here, looks to be maple. We have the LG of the walking tremolos, the old Floyd Rose. The body is made out of, uh... What? What did you guys say last night? Uh, 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 I'm guessing basewood? Uh, you know, I was absolutely shit-faced when you guys were passing all this information to me. That was 24 hours ago, but... 24 hours later, not a whole lot's fucking changed, mate. <laughs> Now I know what you're thinking to yourself about right now, mate. But Kyle, what is this? What kind of magic does it make? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, it affects the pitch, yeah. Much like the complete opposite of the price of gasoline. When you pull this out, it makes the pitch go down. And you just pull it out in the same way that you would, you know, pull a knife out of a koala that you thought was cute till you realized it had rabies, so you stabbed it to death in its black heart. And then all of a sudden your guitar becomes just like you have become after all these years of a late night binging on pizza and beer. It becomes heavy as fuck. <laughs> thoughts on this guitar. Well, we've established that she sounds absolutely amazing. She has a rip of the paint job. The only cons I would say, if you even want to call them cons, is I find the, uh, the old school OG Floyd Rose a little bulky for my taste. I like the lower profiles. I find the neck slightly too thick. I like the thinner necks, uh, but that's okay, because this neck kind of reminds me of the baseball bat. And what is a baseball bat? It, it's a murder weapon. Let's just be real, it's a fucking murder weapon. So that gives this guitar multiple function. Uh, for example, let's say you're in your backyard and you, you're playing a few tunes on a beautiful sunny day and a, a rabid koala and a croc want to give you a hard time. Whack! The bumblebee saved the day. Let's say you, you, you're at the bar and you're playing with your band and you look out at your Sheila and there's some guy talking to you and you're like, who the fuck is this bloke? <laughs> that bloke is getting fucking whacked. <laughs> Whack! The bumblebee saved the day. Multiple purpose. Multiple function. <laughs> So I would uh, 
rate this guitar uh, easily four and a half out of five stars. Yeah. And I would just like to say in closing, uh, I never realised how deeply a man could be affected by the passing of another man that he never even met. The world misses you, mate. May you rest in peace.